Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman is expected to return for Wonder Woman 3, offering a chance to improve the character's storyline following the mixed reviews and commercial disappointment of Wonder Woman 1984, partly due to the pandemic. The first Wonder Woman film in 2017 was a huge success, establishing Gal Gadot as a beloved and faithful version of the iconic comic book character. With Wonder Woman 3 in development, there's an opportunity to reshape Diana Prince's narrative and reignite enthusiasm among fans and critics alike. Gadot has expressed excitement about reprising her role as Wonder Woman in the new DC Universe, spearheaded by James Gunn and Peter Safran. She confirmed that she's collaborating with them on the third Wonder Woman movie, which will be part of this fresh universe. Unlike earlier DCEU films, this new universe isn't fully tied to the previous canon, giving Wonder Woman 3 the freedom to build on the successful elements of the 2017 movie while avoiding the issues faced by Wonder Woman 1984. Set Wonder Woman 3 in the modern day In the DCEU, Wonder Woman's standalone films have been set in the past, World War I and the 1980s, skipping a modern-day setting. However, with previous movies no longer part of the canon, Wonder Woman 3 is expected to take place in the present day while keeping key elements and characters from the 2017 film. For example, Steve Trevor could still have a connection to Themyscira, but now as an Argus agent, aligning with his current portrayal in the comics. This approach also allows other familiar characters, like Etta Candy, to remain in the franchise, creating a closer tie between Diana's story and the broader DC Universe narrative. Have Patty Jenkins direct Wonder Woman 3 Despite any criticisms of Wonder Woman 1984, Patty Jenkins' direction and Gal Gadot's performance were not among the film's issues. Jenkins' directing style and dedication to the Wonder Woman character make her an excellent choice for a third Wonder Woman movie. She has expressed interest in returning to the franchise, especially after the initial plans for Wonder Woman 3 were cancelled. Given her passion and skill, Patty Jenkins deserves another opportunity to direct a Wonder Woman film, especially within the context of the new DC Universe franchise. Bring back Steve Trevor and keep him alive! The strong chemistry between Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and Chris Pine's Steve Trevor was a highlight of the previous Wonder Woman movies. In Wonder Woman 3, set in the new DC Universe, there's no longer a need to explain Trevor's return or survival. It's simply accepted that he never died, and since the film is set in the modern day, Trevor remains a crucial supporting character in Wonder Woman's ongoing adventures without the need for convoluted explanations. Introduce Iconic Wonder Woman Supporting Characters The 2017 Wonder Woman film introduced Diana's allies, known as the Wonder Men, consisting of original characters alongside Steve Trevor and Etta Candy. These original characters later made their way into the post-rebirth Wonder Woman comics as part of the Argus task force called the Odd Fellows. Wonder Woman 3 can bring back these DCEU teammates as the Odd Fellows within the new DC Universe. However, the film can also introduce other iconic supporting characters from Wonder Woman's lore. Build the Wonder Woman Family Diana Prince's Wonder Woman family from the comics includes super-powered sidekicks and allies like Donna Troy, Cassie Sandsmark, Nubia, Artemis, and Yara Floor. Wonder Woman 3 could introduce these characters into the new DC Universe, setting up opportunities for fascinating character development and storylines in future films. This move would not only please fans of the Wonder Woman comics, but also open the door for potential adaptations of the Teen Titans comics within the DCU. Use Greg Rucka's Rebirth run as inspiration James Gunn's announcement of the DCU's upcoming projects revealed a pattern where each property is connected to a specific comic storyline. For instance, The Brave and the Bold is inspired by Grant Morrison's Batman stories. Greg Rucka's highly praised Wonder Woman comic run is another notable example, spanning four arcs and reintroducing Wonder Woman in the post-rebirth DC universe. Rucka's run featured a compelling narrative involving Ares, his son Phobos and Deimos, Veronica Kale and Cheetah. This comic run could serve as an ideal basis for Wonder Woman 3, not just for its acclaimed story, but also for its potential to bring depth and richness to the film's narrative. Make Wonder Woman's soft reboot part of the story Greg Rucka's Wonder Woman comic run incorporated the DC Comics Universe's soft reboot into Diana's storyline. 
She grappled with the aftermath of her New 52 adventures no longer being considered canon, retaining memories of events that were later revealed to be false. In Wonder Woman 3, a similar concept could be explored, where Diana has fleeting memories of the old DCEU, acknowledging her past involvement in the previous franchise. This would help address the transition to the new DC Universe with its updated versions of Superman and Batman. Continue to adapt Wonder Woman's most famous villains. The previous Wonder Woman films faithfully portrayed iconic DC villains, a tradition that should continue in Wonder Woman 3. In addition to Phobos, Deimos, and Veronica Kale, the movie could introduce or set up the live-action debuts of villains such as Circe and Silver Swan. Furthermore, since Wonder Woman 3 is a soft reboot, it can bring back Ares and other Olympians, with Ares playing a crucial role in shaping the character of Cassie Sandsmark, especially considering his connection to Zeus in the comics. Keep some elements of Wonder Woman 1 and 2 canon. While Gal Gadot's previous Wonder Woman films won't be a part of the canon for Wonder Woman 3 in the new DC Universe, the upcoming film can still retain some elements from those earlier outings. This could include keeping beloved supporting characters like the Wonder Men in a reimagined form. Additionally, Wonder Woman 3 may bring back DCEU cast members in new versions of their respective characters. For instance, Chris Pine could return as Steve Trevor, and actors like Kristen Wiig and David Thewlis could reprise their roles as Cheetah and Ares, albeit in refreshed interpretations for the new continuity. Give Wonder Woman a small role in Paradise Lost the only officially announced Wonder Woman project in the DC Universe so far is Paradise Lost, a prequel TV series set in Themyscira. However, since it's set before Diana's birth, Wonder Woman herself is not expected to appear in the series. Nevertheless, Gal Gadot could make a limited appearance as Wonder Woman in Paradise Lost, possibly in a cameo at the end of the series or by bookending the show's main story. This cameo would confirm her upcoming role in the DC Universe and serve to prepare viewers for her return in the next Wonder Woman solo movie. The only confirmed DC Universe project related to Wonder Woman is Paradise Lost, which was announced alongside other movies and shows as part of the franchise's initial phase called Gods and Monsters. Paradise Lost will delve into Themyscira and the Amazons, likely before Diana Prince takes on the Wonder Woman mantle. Considering that Superman Legacy and The Brave and the Bold are introducing new versions of Superman and Batman respectively, it's probable that the DCU will cast a new actor for the role of Wonder Woman as well. The DCU aims to create a fresh franchise, indicating that major ties to the previous DCEU might be dropped. And there you have it. As we eagerly anticipate the arrival of Wonder Woman 3 and the exciting developments in the DC Universe, one question lingers. What new adventures and challenges will await Diana Prince as she navigates the modern-day DCU? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on all things Wonder Woman and DC.